Awesome. How you guys doing? Chris Ignato, and I have yet another cool arachnid for you all to see. This is the uh, Desert Hairy Scorpion, also known as Hedrurus arizoniensis, or something like that. And they're really neat. Uh, I used to keep these as pets, and they're a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy the video, and check it out. So we've also got a giant desert hairy scorpion, they call it, or desert hairy. And uh, they're awesome. I had them as pets. They're very hardy. They can handle extremes of temperatures and you know, droughts and things like that. They're really cool. And I haven't held this one yet, but you can hold some of them. But just be careful because you might get allergic. That stings you. It's like a bee sting. But some people you could get anaphylaxis. That's not cool. It could be fatal. And hopefully, I'll be holding her later, but I don't want to get stung in front of people. I'd rather get stung in privacy so it's not embarrassing. But um, I've never, I haven't been stung by one of these yet, so it's not like they're the most aggressive. But some of them are. Some of them get cranky. When you put these guys under a black light, they glow insanely. Insanely bright. Um, like a bright green or a bright blue sometimes. And what's weird about scorpions, and vinegrins really, is sunlight kills them. It can kill them. Not that it does right off the bat. But sunlight really burns them. Almost like vampires. They gotta just get out of the sun. And I've watched them get exposed to sunlight and immediately dig a hole into the you know, sand and stuff. And it's just crazy how fast they do it. They use all their, like, they, these are arachnids, so they've got eight legs. Two pedipalps and a telson, you know, stinger. Um, and they use like their front two or three pairs of legs to, they just go like that and the sand just goes flying out the back end. It's really cute. It's going to be hard to get her in there now. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be really fun. If, we, if I get stung, we'll, we'll change that part. No, I, actually, that would be great for you too. So, uh, <laughs> um, interesting thing about scorpions is they do have an organic, whoa, honey, don't fall. They have an organic metal in their tail, in their sting, which is kind of crazy, isn't it? Ooh. A metal in the sting to reinforce that strength. And then, she's being sweet, and they're like, you can't hold that, it's gonna send you to the doctor. It's like, well, I'm holding her. Is she acting <laughs> aggressive? And I know that, like, it's just gonna be pain. I'm not gonna really have a bad reaction. It's just gonna hurt. Um, and they have eight eyes, one to three on each side, you know, two pairs of three, and then two on the very top. Don't go up my sleep. Um, but they also have light sensitive cells in their stinger too, which is crazy. So they could stick it out from under a rack and they could tell if the sun's out hitting them. And they're like, well, I don't want to come out in the sunlight, you know? So, put you down here, honey. I'll talk about the next person. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to get off me now. You're really warm, so. Yeah, exactly, you know? Um, so then. We here you go, guys. I told you they glow under a black light. Now this should be green, mm -hmm. but on camera it looks blue. That's strange. Yeah. There you have it. Awesome. Thanks, dude. That's so cool. I mean, I don't think you get get them glowing much more than that. No. So pretty cool, guys. <laughs> Love them. Thanks a lot for watching. Once again, Chris Ignato, signing out.